Hello there everybody, this is Indium here, welcome you back to another episode of Let's Play Dragon Warrior for the NES. Right, so in the last episode we finished up the Rock Mountain Cave, and in this video we're going to be making our way to the next town. Well, the town we already previously went to, to um, cash him some gold so we could buy the large shield. <coughs> and great, of course, we'd encounter something like a magician. <coughs> Yeah, let's get this over with. Alright, hang on just one second. Okay guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. I um, had to clean out my throat. <laughs> uh, my freaking nasal passages, I tell you, they're all full of crap. That's all it is, is it's crap. <clears throat> Speaking of crap, we're fighting a friggin' scorpion here, so... We're gonna get some really bad experience points for this. Yeah, six. Meh. Yeah, stinks. Alright, so we're going to the next town to buy the large shield. And then once we bought the large shield, we'll be making our way to the next town. After that. Which is on the eastern side of the map. Uh, where we was at the beginning of the last video. Because at the beginning of the last video, I went the wrong direction and I went up all the way up to that cave in the mountains and there was that old dude in there guarding a chest <clears throat> well we don't need to go back into that cave until much later but however there is a town out in that direction in that same general vicinity and uh, I don't know if there's any unique armor to buy there I, I, I think it's one of them dud towns that doesn't really sell anything useful um, but there is another town like south from that one that sells a lot better equipment for really high price too, we're gonna have to do some serious money grinding probably after this video, that's why I'm saying that I'm probably just gonna get this one video out today, get this one video recorded, <clears throat> because um, grinding sessions on this game, especially later on in the game, take like hours to do, I'm not saying, I'm not just saying an hour, I'm saying freaking hours, it takes like, I remember going on a grinding session in this game and to get the money that I wanted it took me like freaking three hours to do it. It's crazy. I mean, that's why these games seem as long as they are, but they're not really that long at all. I mean, there's not that many dungeons to do in this game. There's not that many towns or places to go to. The map isn't that big. In fact, the map is th that small that they actually reprogrammed this entire world map in Dragon Warrior 2. Along with the actual overworld in Dragon Warrior 2, so this place becomes like a miniature island compared to the entire world of the second game. Alright, so I'm at the wrong vendor, of course. Damn it, I, did, I made the same mistake again. It's because I'm talking and not thinking. Uh, Alright, so uh, I'm here to cash in my gold and get myself a large shield and then make way with the goods. <clears throat> so we can buy this for 40. Wait, I want to sell the shield 45 gold, yeah, that's right. <clears throat> so, uh, now we're pretty much broke. We only have 626 gold, which is nothing compared to what we had. So we're going to cash in 25 gold here to spend the night at the inn, because we're going to need all the MP and all the HP that we can get. <clears throat> While traveling across the plains of... Alephgard, which I think is the actual name of the world map. I don't know why I called it Cantlin, because Cantlin is the castle you start off in. And then Tantagul is, um... Wait, is it? Wait. No, Tantagul is the place you start off in. Yeah, Tantagul Castle, and then I think the town is also called Tantagul. No, I think Cantlin is another town in the game. I know Cantlin does exist, it is a town in this game, I just got it mixed up with the town you start off in, but I think Cantlin is actually like one of the very last towns you go to. That sells some of the best weapons in armor. <clears throat> yeah, this is going to take a while to get across here. If we keep encountering enemies, that is, I just can't wait to get that repel spell, because then that'll help out a lot. 
I don't even know what level you learn that at, to be honest. I know it's one of the earlier levels in the game, so hopefully it'll be the next spell that we learn. Yeah, the problem is, is trying to remember where this town is. Because I did actually try recording this video a few days ago, but I just wasn't feeling it. And I remember getting to this part of the part of the world map and just like not being able to find a town. Because I thought it was in that desert patch over there, but it's not. Like I thought it was like slap bang in the middle of the desert. I, I'm guessing it's further north here. Yeah, there it is. Found it. Okay, so this is the town. I don't know. I, I don't actually know the name of this town, to be fairly honest. It might be called Gwaylin, but mm, don't quote me on that. And this, no, I think Gwaylin was the town we were just at. Right. So what you meant to do here is, from this fountain, which kind of looks like a squared block of sky with clouds in it. So you, from that square, you move four squares down. I think it's four squares down, so I'll be this one here, and then you press search, and then you discover the fairy flute, which you're not really supposed to know um, until much later, I think, in the game. Like, there's someone that does mention that there is a flurry fairy flute in this town, but I don't actually think it's explicitly mentioned that it's in that exact spot, and you have to press the search command to actually find it. Yeah, cryptic NES bullshit, that's what that is. <laughs> Yeah, right, so um, I'm going to see what they sell here, just for convenience sake. Uh, wings. Right, I think wings uh, teleport you to the previous town that you were at. They can be useful in very sticky situations, like if you can't get back to town in time, and there's like a long way from you to the next town, and there you encounter a whole bunch of nasty enemies, then obviously the wings will be very useful. It's kind of like using evac in a dungeon, more or less. Alright, I don't think there is actually anything else to buy here. There's no weapon shop I can see. Um, oh, right, okay, I guess this is the weapon shop, but there's no weapon sign. And they don't sell anything. They sell literally exactly the same thing as they do in Gwaylin, so... With that information... Uh, obtained, we shall just leave this place. That's all we really need to do there. Um, so we got the fairy flute. I forgot what the purpose of that is. I think that's used to get into the Dragon Lord's castle, from what I remember. Don't quote me on that either, because <laughs> I have not played this game in quite some time. <clears throat> and I've only ever played it once, so this is my second playthrough. Alright, so with the uh, fairy flute obtained. We're going to be making way south here. I think we have to go through the swamp land, so this is going to be pretty dodgy. Um, not really looking forward to this. I don't know how much damage I'm going to take here, but we've got full health, so we should be okay. <clears throat> as long as we don't encounter too many enemies along the way. Which in these games you just never know, because the encounter rate can be insane sometimes. Increased basics, yeah, not very good EXP at all. Anyways, hinted by the swampland that is encompassing this cave right here, it's no it's no wonder why this cave is called the Swamp Cave. <laughs> Alright, so let's get the spell menu out and use Radiant to get rid of that tunnel vision. Right, so the key with this cave is you don't want to stick to the uh, right hand side because there's a path that forks off to the right. Now, you don't want to go down this way, because if you go down that way, you're going to encounter something very nasty. There is a fixated 
uh, square that, in, uh, that um, has a fixed encounter and uh, you end up fighting a green dragon which you do not want to fight <laughs> especially at the level that you're at now and with the equipment that we have we're not going to stand a chance against that thing so don't even bother although it is necessary to fight that thing to progress the plot you do need to eventually come back here and fight that but the funny thing is they kind of treat it as like a boss battle, but then later on in the game you fight green dragons as like regular enemies. It's kind of funny. Alright, so let's go up the stairs. So, uh, with the HP that we're at right now and the MP that we're at, uh, we're gonna need to get back to, well, get to a town so we can heal up at the inn. There is a town nearby. I think it's through here. Yeah, we're going to be encountering some new enemies here because we're on a different continent. <clears throat> so it's obviously uh, necessary that we're going to be needing to grind up for some money to buy some more stronger weapons before we can make any more progress in this game because we will end up getting our asses kicked and we'll be extremely sorry for not one for not going in and buying some better equipment. Why does his shoes look like um those Christmas stocking shoes that like the I don't know. Oh god, okay, we're running a bit low on HP here, so we have to use the heal spell before we die. Out round here you encounter enemies called gold men, which I mentioned at the beginning of the LP. And those enemies are the ones that give the most gold, so you do want to look out for those. Dang it. Man, that heal spell does not give much HP back at all, does it? Holy crap. Well, that was a close call. If I do say so myself. Alright, so let's get into this town so I can end off the video. Oh my god, a metal scorpion! Uh, uh, they have really high, de high defense, and we have a really crap weapon, so I'm just gonna try and run away. <laughs> okay, thank god I got away with that. Jeez. Yeah, don't bother trying to fight metal scorpions with a copper sword. It, it just ain't happening, dude. It just ain't happening. Alright, guys, I'm going to end off the video here, and we'll continue on next time. So, in the next episode, let's play Dragon Warrior. I'll have more gold prepared for the next video, so then we can go ahead and buy some equipment from this town. And, um, have, uh, do a little bit more exploring around the world map. So, um, anyway, guys, until then, this is NDM saying thanks for watching. Take your body to this video, and goodbye.